Okay, this week we come to you live, well, semi-live, from, 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 from my point of view we're live, yep. uh, from the, uh, the home changing room of Lewis FC. Uh, Tim, I, 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 was watching, I was watching that game and uh, I thought I'm going to increase my life insurance policy here because I'm, I'm going to keel over with the pressure oh. and the tension. I thought, I thought, I'm so glad I'm not a football manager. No, I'm, it must drive you insane at times. It, it, it does for uh, more more reasons than none. I mean, again, I, the frustration and um, the second half was uh, it does against the heart racing when chances go begging and um, as I say, the disappointment of not getting what I think we deserve today. Yeah, um, is, is, is the biggest one. But yeah, no, there was a few. It wasn't heart stopping moments. The other way, two silly goals we give away, and that's—I think—that was them. That was their uh, token gesture for today. Um, two sloppy goals, but uh, other than that, yeah, no, it was a case of uh, if we could get out there and, and kick yeah. the ball in ourselves, we would have done. But talk, talk us through the, the, the first goal. It, it's like everyone stopped; they thought it was offside, but Winnie then decided to dribble round their striker. Oh, I mean, what, talk me through that. What happened there? The, the, there was definitely an element of, um, of offside in it. Yeah. Um, the linesman seemed to say that it was it was level, but uh, I think the linesman has to be up with play to call it level in the first place. And he mm -hmm. was probably four or five yards as he was for, for a few decisions during the day. But um, no, Chris, in fairness to him, he's a, you know he's a, he's he's a guy who's uh, who's honest, and he came in straight away at half time, puts his hand up and says, "Sorry, guys, my fault for the first goal." Right. You know, perhaps his starting position could have been a bit more advanced so that he's actually there. Mm -hmm. You know, cleaning the ball plus the player, perhaps. Um, you know, when, when, when he's going through. But uh, but there you go. And the second one again was another defensive lapse. Um, yeah. You know, I mean, goal score you know, unmarked in the box. It seems unmarked, but but a bit bit that disappointed me. And, and as I say, I had a chat with uh, you know I had a, a chat with a player that um, I think the cross could have been stopped. Sure. We could have worked harder at stopping the cross coming in in the first place. Um, but, but other than that, I can't remember too many other chances that they had. Plus, they had the advantage of the wind with. Yes. But in fairness, you know, before the goal, we were the brighter, better side. And periods after the second goal goes in. Sure. We, we Let's the talk side. Um, some positives. Fantastic debuts from uh, Lyle Taylor and Gary Noel. Both uh, a goal each. They look awesome together. They do. Um, the, the, the beauty is, is that they both... Um, you know, know one another from the Millwall days, uh, albeit that they've had a, a fair bit of time apart since. You know, um, Lyle's career looks like it's on the right track. Gary's uh, determined to get his back on it, and um, it, it was. It, it is. You know, what was quite nice was the ball, ball was sticking up there a little bit more, and um, they worked their own opportunities as well. Like Gary, first half when he, you know, he's turned the yeah. defender middle of the goals. Um, you know, Gary normally t he tends to hit the target, which he, you know, he dragged his shot a bit. But uh, no, very, very pleased for, for both, you know, both of the guys. They deserve their goal, yeah. uh, goal apiece. Um, was just hoping that maybe Lyle or Gary, you know, if he had stayed on, maybe would have nicked the, nicked the winner sure. as well. But there you go. Another very strong debut from uh, Joe Tabiri. He made a, a difference, I thought, in centre mid with Jammer. Yeah, he did make a difference. He's, um, you know, he's very, very strong on the ball, Joe. Um, his general passing is, is, is decent as well. You know, he, um, he he doesn't waste too many you know too many balls when he gets it. And as I say, um, his ball retention is very good. But um, no, he, he he done well. But I thought Jammer deserved his yeah. match award again. I don't think uh, he probably gets the plaudits that he deserves. But um, you know, his his ball to, to Dave Wheeler for our second oh, goal. You know, ball, in yeah. these conditions, he's put it on a sixpence and. Uh, Dave done magnificent with his yeah. first touch, and uh, you know there's Gary, you know a bit, bit of the predator he is, and you know he, he yeah. finishes it off. So. And then um, Callum, Callum Davis at centre back. He's 17 years old. I hear he broke his nose. He had a bloody face, but he just carried on playing. Fantastic yeah, he's, 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 the, young, the guy's 17, you know, and and, and um, he's got a great future. But but what a man, you know. Yeah. He's, as I say, he come off bloody nose. You could see that his nose had took a fair whack and. Wasn't probably in the right place where it should be, but um, centre back nose they call it. I believe. <laughs> yeah, and I've got one of those, and uh, yeah, <coughs> that's right, exactly. But um, no, it, 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 you don't have good centre backs unless they've got a nose like a boxer. Of course. But, but no, he, he, what, what a man, you know. He comes yeah. over. He, he, we said, look, you, you've probably broken your nose. He said, nah, I've done it before anyway. Wipes it, 
and, and runs off, you know, back on, into action. And um, you know, he, he's he's a real good kid. And um, you know, I, I think he was uh, say first goal maybe between you know the centre forward gets in between them. But other than that, he's he's, he's had another yeah. real decent yeah. game. The the nuts of the matter is it was a game we really did want to win, but it, at the same time I, I imagine you're disappointed. It, it feels like we're going to start winning some games with this with this mm. team now. This squad feels, mm. it suddenly feels like there's strength and depth. I mean, a good strong bench today. I thought. Yeah, I, I must admit, for the first real time in my time here, I felt that coming to a game feeling that yeah no I think things are in place now or mm -hmm. as near as they can be um, you know the void of um, Lewis Ide's injury probably was never quite yeah. filled in there you know and, and Joe Tabiri comes in um, you know it's been a bit hit and miss up front at times you know um, we had the, the initial impact from players coming in and, and, and setting sure. us off but uh, I remember that though, when I used to talk to Ibo after games, he would always say, oh, if you can just get a striker or two, everything changes. And it's, but it's the hardest thing to find in this league, mm. is those top guys who no, will come is, in. No, it's, it's not being through the want of trying. And that's yeah, with no, you know, no, no disrespect to the players already here. I mean, you know, there's, there's still some talent here as yeah. well. But, um, you know, as I say, Rory... You know he's, he's he's done well today. He's very very yeah. he's, he's, his work ethic is extremely you know um, extremely good. You know he helps his full back out and he's also got a bit of a dig on him. He come good. No, I, I, as I say, it, it's it's a step in the right direction if 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 it sounds right. But um, I think um, we're, we're due a win so and yeah. there's been a, a, a nice increase in progression over the last three or four games and today. Yeah. I think uh, anybody here today, and I mean here today, and, and, and actually seen it for themselves rather than comment on yeah. perhaps other people's views, um, they would agree that you know, oh, yeah, how thought... we haven't got three points is, is beyond us. And sure. um, but but there you go. I mean, um, the crowd got behind the crowd the team was brilliant, today. magnificent. Really what a horrible day it to was... come out and stand there, especially the ones behind the. the the uncovered goal, making yeah. noise, you know, willing that ball in for you know for yeah. a, a winner. It didn't happen, but um, as I say, if, if if they can stay together as much as this team is in this changing room as we stand now, we, we, we will get through this. Yeah, there's there's a determination in this changing room, a real belief, and you know if if if, if we can. You know, have the supporters. And you believe there are enough games and enough points available Definitely. to get, get out of this? Why not? Why not? I mean, sides that have gone on two or three wins on the bounce, your Forex, yeah. your St Albans, albeit they've had their points deducted, it, it, it changes yeah. the com complexity of the, of the league sure. completely. And sure. um, this, this side is capable of putting two or three wins together. Yeah. We were very close to, you know, to doing our first one of hopefully two or three, you know, to come. But, um, no, we, we, we're going away disappointed, but we're going away positive at the same sure. time. Sure, that's great. Thank you very much, Tosh. No we will see you in Maidenhead. See you at Maidenhead, yes. Great. Hopefully the weather's better. Thank you. No a, a little shot of the dressing room, maybe? Yeah, no, I think yeah, we need a shot. A, a yeah. noddy, a noddy. No, no. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. There we go. Here's yeah. the dressing there room. Look at the floor. floor. Look at the floor. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Right. Another one of the, another noddy. Beautiful. Yeah. Okay, and that's it. We that's don't edit this. <laughs>